I guess the major uh, goal of what we're doing is to try to see the atoms moving in a chemical reaction. So we are physical chemists and our dream has always been to really find a way to visualize the motion of the atoms. You need very high spatial resolution, very high time resolution. So we have a different approach to building the so-called best microscope in the world. And the idea is really to build a theoretical description which is so accurate that you can predict the motion of the atoms in space and time. So that is really the dream of our research, to push things in that direction. The university is a place for research, of course, but also a place for education and a place for development of young people. The Max Planck Society is, is, a, is a science institution where people are focused completely on science. It's the pipeline to the future when you make this cooperation work well. I cannot imagine uh, doing science without the students, actually. They don't know what's not possible, okay? And therefore, they are very open-minded and enthusiasm for new things. You need both sides of this. You need the expertise and you need the optimistic, youthful energy. And of course, as you get older, you may not have as much energy as you used to have, so you need that too. <laughs> for me personally, uh, it has been uh, unbelievably good, I have to say. The situation that I have enjoyed here uh, with the Humboldt professorship, with the position here at the Max Planck Institute, as well as at the university. Basically, the first five years here, we worked on anything that we thought we wanted to work on, we could just start working on it. In Germany, there's a more of a uh, Selbstverständlichkeit, I would say, is the best word, self-evident. Uh, realization in, in, even in, amongst politicians, even amongst many common people who are not scientists, that science and technology and innovation is important to Germany. And I think this is uh, an environment where being a scientist is uh, appreciated. Göttingen is located in a rural part of Germany. Um, I'm a bicyclist. <laughs> so this is a very nice uh, countryside uh, for riding and also now that uh, since the reunification of Germany is you can go to the former East Germany within a very short time. I mean any, any direction you go it's beautiful. Sometimes people ask me, why did I leave Santa Barbara to come to Göttingen, right? Because uh, Santa Barbara, California, is supposed to be one of the most beautiful, it is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, and, you know, the answer is I gave up the ocean, I gave up the beach. But, uh, you know, I got the forest, <laughs> the beautiful German forest. and. Uh, I actually think that's not such a bad trade. I think within one year after we were here, both my sons at one point came to me. I think I had said something very jokingly about, oh, maybe we move back to Santa Barbara or something like this, right? Amazing. And they were both saying like, no, 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 no. I think young people adapt actually much faster than I and my wife. They complained about it more. 